Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruick. I hold the David J. Ellis Chair in Large Animal Clinical Sciences and Antimicrobial Resistance at Michigan State University. Today, as part of our series on antibiotic usage on dairy farms, we'll be discussing the veterinary client patient relationship. Now that's really a long term just to talk about what's the role of the veterinarian in uh, prescribing antibiotics on dairy farms. Now in the United States, prescriptions for antibiotics in food producing animals must be prescribed by a veterinarian who holds a veterinary license to practice within the state that the animal is located in. That veterinarian and the producer must have established what we call a veterinary client patient relationship, or the abbreviation is VCPR. Now the VCPR has specific legal meaning and is required for prescriptions, but there are slight differences in some of the regulations among some states. So for example, some states may have specific requirements relative to the frequency of veterinary visits to the farm. And it's important to know what the specific regulations are in the state that you're in. Um, it's also important to know that a couple of states allow establishment of the BCPR uh, via telemedicine in some circumstances, but most do not. So again, just be aware of subtle differences among these states. Now the VCPR is a big term, but it's got, it's a pretty simple concept. And there's five key criteria for, uh, to ensure that a valid VCPR exists. The first criteria refers to the um, V, C, and P in the VCPR. The V, the vet, has a responsibility for making clinical decisions about animal health. They've arrived at a diagnosis and prescribed that treatment. The C, the client, or the owner of those animals, has agreed to follow those veterinary instructions. And the P in that VCPR is the patient, which may be an individual animal or could be a group of animals on the farm. Vet has responsibility for making the decisions the client has agreed to follow them for the patients. Second criteria of a valid VCPR is that that veterinarian needs to have enough knowledge of the patient to arrive at a preliminary diagnosis of the disease. And this criteria infers that the veterinarian with that VCPR um, visits the farm frequently enough to be aware of diseases and conditions on that farm that may impact that care. So it infers that timely examinations of the animal or groups of animal have been performed. The third criteria of a valid VCPR is that the veterinarian is available or has arranged for follow-up care if the treatment's not effective. So if things go, go wrong, that veterinarian will ensure that the animal is well cared for. The fourth criteria of the valid VCPR is that the veterinarian must agree to provide oversight of the treatments, ensure compliance, in other words, that the client is actually following the veterinary instructions, and also assess outcomes of that treatment. Again, all to ensure effective care of the animals. And then the fifth criteria of a valid VCPR is really common sense, and that's simply that animal records are maintained. All right, let's recap. Antibiotics must be prescribed by a veterinarian who is licensed to practice in the state that the um, animals are located within. And that veterinarian must be the veterinarian who meets the criteria to hold a valid veterinary client patient relationship. Remember, there's some variation among states in the regulations so you may need to check the specifics of your location. Now, just a note, I don't think any of us really like being overly regulated, but we have to remember that the purpose of the VCPR is not just regulations. The purpose of the VCPR is to ensure animal care and to assure that antibiotics are being prescribed by veterinarians 
who are familiar with the animals and the diseases that are being treated. They're really to ensure both the safety of the food and the animal welfare. While the VCPR itself is a U.S. regulatory requirement, these principles of providing effective veterinary care and prescribing antibiotics only when necessary apply everywhere in the world.